everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophie and this channel is chronicling my journey of living my best life with multiple chronic health conditions. Today I just want to do a quick update on my social security disability process and where I am with that. I did get a letter yesterday which was December 8th giving me the day of my administrative law judge hearing which is where you go while well, I'm doing it virtually, so it's gonna be on Microsoft Teams, and I will talk to a judge about why I think I was disabled from, you know, 2020 to the end of 2022. With that, there is a lot of paperwork and updating I need to do to my record. And as I said in the previous video, that is what I think has fatigued my arms just because it has been a lot of typing. Thankfully, a lot of it was already typed out because I am a little neurotic like that. So I had a lot of it done, but they wanted a lot of extra information. For example, I had a medication list with my medication, why I'm taking it, the dose, and the times I take it. They also want when I started taking it, who prescribes it. Um, I think one other thing, so I had to add that. Then they wanted a list of all of the doctors I've seen since April, which I honestly didn't think was a lot until I went to like gather them. I've seen a lot of doctors since April. So they wanted the doctors, their names, their specialties, their address, their phone numbers, all of the dates that I saw them and what the doctor like is saying about my condition. So needless to say, I did not have all of that information. So I am having to look it up and type it out. I did have the doctor's name, their address and phone number already typed out, but I'm having to look up when my appointments were, um, look at their record and find out what they're saying, like what their diagnosis is, even though I'm sending them my medical records. So I don't really know why, but that's what they're asking for. And they also want my work history, which I've sent them like multiple times. It has not changed at all. Um, the only thing I have to do is add my current job because I have not given them my work history since I started working. So basically I just send them my resume, but again, they want more information than is typically on the resume. So they also want like the employer address, which for my current job, I have to look up because they are not in the state that I work. They are now solely in another state. They don't have a brick and mortar building in the state where I am. So I need to find that address again around here somewhere but lots of typing you can also type something to have the judge read ahead of time I'm going to ask my lawyer if it is read ahead of time or if it's something that I read during the hearing I would rather read it during the hearing because then I know the judge will hear it versus not even look at it and that'll just sort of be a then and now like before I could work my 12 hour job, come home, shower, and then finish working an eight hour shift. So work another like six hours or something. And I could manage that. And now I can't really stay awake all day without medication. Um, so stuff like that, just to sort of highlight that I, there was no way I could work during the time period I wasn't working. And quite frankly, it's amazing I'm managing to work now. Um, even my new PCP has said that, and my prior PCP has just said, like, it's amazing that I am quote-unquote functioning, even though I'm not very functional outside of work. But that is what I have been spending a lot of my mornings doing, because mornings are still the only time I am functional as far as, like, brain working goes. Um, yes, as I said in the last video, I have been more awake but I have not been less brain foggy per se. So after work, if I finish work at 6 or 7 p.m., I'm not working on SSDI stuff. My brain is done. I've probably been tripping over my words with my member calls for the past two hours or something. 
So the morning is the only time I have to work on it. So it's taking me quite a while to get this done. Um, hopefully I will finish it this weekend. I'm recording this on December 9th. So hopefully I will be sending it to my lawyer on, what's Monday, December 11th. So he can look at it and tell me, yes, send it or make these changes. But that is the SSDI update. Oh, the hearing is in March. Um, in the middle of March, so not soon, but it's at least scheduled. I applied in December of 2021, so it's been a long time. Uh, and that's a whole other issue that I will not get into, but we're here now, where we're getting there. So that's the update. Um, yeah, just gotta finish all this paperwork stuff. Uh, mostly, I just need to finish all that doctor stuff. I need to go through my phone and my planner to get the dates of all the appointments. Uh, and that's taking longer than I would like because I've seen more doctors than I realized since April. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope whenever you guys are seeing this, you are having a good day. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.